I'm Susan Brown. I'm a multidisciplinary artist. That means I work in many different types of media. I worked for many years painting oil on canvas. I'm a printmaker and also a conceptual artist. Living and working on Merseyside affords opportunities for rural scenes and cityscapes. My paintings often use water and reflections to depict light and colour. Depictions of children on the beach feature largely in my work. The tide in Merseyside goes out for miles and leaves swathes of beach where children can play in the pools and on the beach and explore. I can sit on the beach or the promenade sketching the excitement and the wonder of a child exploring an alien world. Using Liverpool's iconic buildings like the cathedrals, uh, they're an inspiration for cityscapes and they're also painted in oils. I like the way the city lights up at night. I use the nighttime scenes to show how light and shadow alter the known buildings. I have recently been inspired by the work of Robert Gilmore, the wildlife artist, and have been making at first prints of our local wildlife and then proceeded to do other prints as well. I've created various prints using lino cuts, etchings and engravings. Using acrylic uh, for etchings has led me onto a concept which I am exploring in conjunction with the 2012 Liverpool Independence. It's an exhibition called Ghost of the Past, Shadows of the Past. And what we've been doing, and what I've been doing, is thinking about the recent transformation in Liverpool and what we're missing and what has changed. That starts me thinking about what in even the past decade has been missing from our lives or changed from our lives. So we've taken the Perspex panels and I've etched onto them something that has been missing, like in this case, um, a particular butterfly that's, that is now extinct. And that's placed in the front of the frame with a painting of what is there now in the back. So the current situation, which is Claremont Farm on the Wirral, which is very beautiful, but it's not a habitat for the butterfly that it used to be. The etching will be a ghost of what has been. And when the light shines through it, it casts a shadow on the current situation or the current view of the world. So it becomes a shadow of the past as well as a ghost of the past. I have work in collections around the world in many private homes, and there are frequent exhibitions of my work, including those with dot art.